All right, hello everyone. So this is another quick video. It's going to show you some tools you can use to uh, help with programming. So the first one is just called writemaps.com. It's a website. It's free. But basically what you do is you build concept maps. And normally I use this for web design. So basically you can get the file structure of like what do you want to have happen, how many levels deep do you want to go, etc. But it also works for regular programming. So here we have a basic flowchart of what it looks like whenever you're uh, doing the program. So the first thing we want to do is to import, you know, the correct header files, which is what happens when you have the import statement right there. It's importing in certain header files that allow you to use certain functions. And so then I know that I want the user to input variables A, B, and C. I then know that I want the user to compute these variables using the quadratic equation. And then I know that I want to output with correct formatting. So by using this website, if you're having a hard time visualizing what the correct workflow is and how it should be done inside of uh, C++, this will give you a little visual cue as to how to do it. Now for a project this simple, probably not necessary. But as projects get more elaborate and advanced, you're going to have branching subpaths and other things that you, know, you may want to consider how you want your program to loop or look. And this kind of gives you a good visual representation of that. Now more interesting is if you have followed my other videos um, and you've downloaded Cygwin Bash, you can get a program called BC, Base Calculator. And if you haven't, if you're in the Mac side, just uh, open up Terminal, which is under Applications, Utilities, and then uh, it'll be there. And this is what it looks like. If you're on Windows, then open up either using Secure Shell, go connect to the uh, CSC server, or else download it from Cygwin and watch my other video if you don't know how to do that. But what we're going to do here inside of Base Calculator is Base Calculator is a pretty cool calculator in that it can store variables just like a programming language. And whenever we look over here, um, we get uh, the values A, B, and C for our little oops equation. So what we're going to do is jump over here inside a base calculator and say, okay, A equals 2.5, B equals 5, C equals 2.5. Now we need to write our uh, quadratic equation and see if what we input is correct. So we're going to say X equals negative B plus square root of b square. Now inside of C++ this doesn't work, this little caret symbol here. You're going to have to use the power of if you want that to work. However, inside of here it'll work just fine. So b square root minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. So now I have what looks to be correct. I'm going to say enter. I'm going to say okay print x. And now I see that my answer is negative 5. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to see, well, then that's just not correct. So why isn't my program working? Well, because we're programming. And instead of programming, one very important concept is order of precedence. So inside of here, it's just evaluating things as I have them laid out, which is not actually how I want the program to work. Now, one quick little BC got you is also that you need to tell it uh, what scale, what precision scale you want to work in. So if I don't do that, let's just go back to default. I say scale is equal to zero, and I say uh, 10 divided by 9. I only get 1, which hopefully your math is not so bad you don't realize that 10 divided by 9 is not equal 1. What you have to do is tell it how many precision points you want to go, and you say scale equal to 5. Now we rerun that by either typing in or just pressing the up arrow key twice, and now we get the correct answer. So make sure you set your scale equal to 5 before you run these programs just to make sure that's not part of the error. When we go back up, clicking on our up arrow, back up to this equation, we can see real quick what the problems are. That right here, for example, we have divided by 2, but we're not telling you what we actually want to have happen is we want to have 2 uh, by A first. And then we look over here to this program, and then we see that well, what we actually want is we don't want minus 4, we want 4 divided by uh, 4 times A times C, and we also want to evaluate this whole thing as one unit before we try dividing it. So now we're going to do that. And then we're going to say print x. And we see now we got negative 1.000. Ah, correct answer.
go back up. I'm going to delete this piece, run print X again, and we'll see once again we have the correct answer. So what using uh, BC, the little base calculator program, allows you to do is it allows you to test out your math. So that way, if you don't do this, what you're going to do is you're going to first build your program, then you're going to compile it, then you're going to run it. And if it's your math that's off, you're going to have to keep rerunning through that cycle of building, running, testing, etc. It's going to take a lot of time and be kind of annoying. Meanwhile, if you do it like this inside a base calculator and get your math straight here first, um, you can import that and then you can eliminate that as one of your faults. You'll know that what you're actually doing wrong has something to do with the uh, programming language itself, something you're writing incorrectly, rather than getting the math wrong programmatically. So this is just uh, these are just two helpful tools that I use whenever I'm doing programs. And if you want to know more about how to work within BC, type in info BC, and it'll give you the entire uh, help file. Um, but yeah, with these two programs, it'll help you be a little bit of a better programmer. So don't ask me for answers, but I will show you some tools that I use whenever I come across complex equations and problems. So hopefully that helped.